Hey, good morning everyone. It's Traveling Tiff. It's a little after 7 in the morning. Actually, it's uh, just now turned 8. Um, everybody's starting to wake up. Had a good night's sleep. Slept in my hammock. Um, yeah, so it was not too bad of a long ride yesterday, but it was just uh, takes a toll on you. But we're here at a campsite called Perry in Red Lodge, Montana. And our site is near the river, and I'll show you guys. We're gonna plan our plan our trip out today. See where we're going, what we're gonna do for breakfast. I've got food I can cook, but um, when you're around other people, you know they tend to want to do a group thing. So, uh, which is cool. I just need to eat some of my food before it goes bad. But uh, yeah, so having fun, enjoying it. We put a little over, I think, 500 something miles on our bikes. Um, and I just put a thousand miles total on my bike since uh, uh, after this or on this trip. So any you short guys out there that are considering this bike, I would definitely um, I would either get some stilettos, <laughs> some high heels, or uh, lower the shocks on this bike. I'm five, almost five nine, and uh, I have trouble. Only because of the fact that if it's uh, if you're in a spot where you're pulling over and the ground is lower between your bike and the wheels, um, you will fall over. It's, it's a given, so keep that in mind. That's the only thing that I would uh, say about this bike. It's really tall. It's not really a negative. It's just that I'm just short. What's up everyone, this is Traveling Tiv. Um, excited to uh, make this video. It's my 1,000 mile review on my new 2022 Yamaha Tenere. And uh, today we're here at this uh, campground called Perry uh, Campground in um, Red Lodge, Wyoming. 
Uh, we're gonna stay another night. This is our second night. We got in a little late yesterday, so weren't able to do a video. But um, really excited to go over some things that I like about the bike and things I don't like about the bike. So uh, you guys stay tuned. All right, so here's my bike. And um, let's just talk about some of the uh, upgrades that I've done so far. So I got the Cycra Pro Bins. Uh, this is the CRM version. Um, I actually had to get uh, different mounts because the ones with the kit do not fit it the way I wanted to fit it. It kept on hanging up on my, uh, my brake. So I had to get that away from the brake. And uh, these uh, bar mounts from Cycra, I had to order extra. So I have those and these were a little bit troublesome putting them on but um, I, I got it eventually it wasn't too much of a struggle um, and uh, another key feature here you don't a tip you don't even have to take these factory uh, bar ends off I guess they're balancing weights I don't know what they are but anyway it doesn't really matter but I didn't have to take those off so you can leave them on there another thing that I bought is the double take mirrors I'm sure you guys know what those are already um, I got my Tusk tank bag. Love this one. This is the bigger version of the Olympus bags. And here's the Tusk Rackless. Uh, I think they're called the Highland versions. But uh, this is what I have. These bags are awesome. Very durable. They have waterproof uh, sacks in them, dry sacks. And um, let me see. Oh, I got this uh, really nice polished aluminum rear cargo rack by B&B Off-Road. Uh, you can see that in my other video and I'll post a link um, for that. So another thing I got is these side rack mounts for the bike from Adventure Spec. These were uh, uh, simple to put on. I got them in um, and uh, the company that I talked to, or th they, were, they were awesome uh, getting these in on time. Uh, let's see what else that I did to the bike. I know what I need to do. I need to get a bash plate or a skid plate. This is the factory one. It's great. It's okay. It's better than a plastic one, but I'd rather have an upgraded version. Um, see what else I would. I probably would change this out. This is plastic. Uh, I want to change it out to a metal guard. So I do want to upgrade this. But you guys have any? Um, do you guys have any? suggestions or anything like that let me know below uh that's about it that i've done to the bike so far not too much i'm kind of just playing it by ear right now oh talk about my helmet it's an awry helmet this is the i think it's called the um oh what version hd4 i think it's what that is i actually uh replaced the the lens that came with it and put a uh, tinted lens on that and that works i love that i have a cardio cardo uh communication this is the uh the special edition i think it's called the the black edition so i love this this is um waterproof as well and it actually has the upgraded sound system on it uh this does not have pro taper bars on it um, I just I bought some bars for it but I just put the pad on there for now um, I don't know if I'm gonna swap out the bars yet to me it's not really that important so I just like that there but yeah that's uh, some of the upgrades I've done on my bike so far probably the next thing I would love to do is probably upgrade the exhaust I want a different sound. It sounds okay now, but I want a different, just a nice throaty sound to it. Let me talk about the bike in general. Now, if you guys are short like I am, I'm only 5'8", five, 5'9", five, somewhere in there. Um, and I wear uh, motocross boots for enduro. And um, I can barely touch. I can touch, but it's barely, depending on the, the surface that I'm on. If there's if the space is lower between your wheels on the motorcycle, you will fall over. It's a guaranteed moment. 
because once that thing gets over on its side, uh, it's going over. Um, I saved it a couple times myself. Um, I was out in Camp 5 in um, Black Hills, South Dakota, got up on a, a, a bank, an embankment, and I knew I couldn't uh, stand up, and I was going over. I jumped off the bike uh, really fast and held the bike up, but it took everything I had to, to hold it there without uh, crashing the whole side. So this is my 1,000 mile review. Um, it handles like a champ. Um, as far as the, uh, the tires go, the braking, performance, and um, just overall handling of the bike. I did my brake in early. My brake in, I did it at 500 miles. I didn't do it at six because I was going on this trip. So really didn't have much time to uh, do an oil change and a filter change after I hit 600 miles because I was going to be on this trip. So I just did 100 miles before that happened. But this is the place we're staying at. Uh, it's gorgeous. So like I said before, I'm in Red Lodge, Montana at this campsite. So been very, very excited about this trip. This is our second day in. Actually our third day. Yes, our third day on the trip. Don't know where we're going yet, but uh, I definitely feel more. Okay, so let's talk more about the bike. I'm getting off topic here. Um, what I had to do, I'm gonna let you know right off and this seat sucks. The seat is after 250 miles of riding um, and I don't want people to say or hear people say, oh, you're just not used to it. Well, I've ridden bikes before and I had a Honda 300L uh, if you guys watched my other videos and I actually uh, sold it and I bought this. The other seat, this seat, they both suck. Both seats suck for long distance. So I had to put a, um, I put a pad right there. It helps out a little bit, but not much. I don't know what uh, Yamaha was thinking, but the tail light and the uh, front indicators for the turn signals are great illumination, but they suck as far as the uh, the plaques, plastics are concerned. I mean, they're they're a floppy. I mean, look at that. They could actually break off. And this right here. Look how loose that is. Now, when I got my bike back from the, uh, or when I actually got it from the the dealership of where I purchased it, um, I had to tighten a lot of stuff up on it within the first. 150 miles I had to uh, tighten some things up on it my windscreen was loose uh, some of the plastics were loose and that's that's uh that's expected because of the vibration but my windshield shield windscreen it was very loose my screws were all about to fall off and uh, that was kind of surprising let me show you so I'm talking about these screws right here for this windshield windscreen and the sides I just went around and I tightened everything that I could actually uh, torque down a little bit. So I did do that. Another thing I would change on this bike is obviously the tires. The tires are great factory wise, um, but if you're going to do more off-roading, uh, uh, they're, they're okay. They're me mediocre. I prefer a little bit more grip. I noticed when I'm on gravel roads, with this, I'm a little bit all over the place. The gas mileage on this bike is a whole, whole lot better than what I had before. I can't compare oranges and apples here, but um, you know, as far as the size of the bike, uh, I, can, I can ride with uh, bigger bikes and not have to fuel up as much. Uh, that is the great thing about it. Oh, let me show you my, uh, my friend Joe's bike. He's got the same 700 Tenere, but this is the 2021 edition crash bars it's got the camel foot pegs uh, he's got these protective side mount plastics right here 
He also has the Adventure Spec um, side rails or side uh, guards on there. Pro bins, he has those on here. Uh, what else do you have? Double take mirrors. I'm trying to think what else he has. Oh, he's got the uh, camel bash plate, skid plate, and also this, uh, I don't know if that's an adventure spec radiator guard or not. I'm not sure. It looks like it is, but can't tell from the side. And he has a camel uh, slip-on exhaust right there. But these bikes are, I'm telling you, they're phenomenal. Um, I love the handling, the power of these bikes, and uh, it gives you a lot of confidence when you ride. Um, I don't feel like I'm going to break down. I don't feel like I'm going to, you know, something's going to fall off. I'm overall happy with the bike. Um, I'm also planning a trip to go to Thailand. And I plan on taking this bike with me. So if you guys have any um, tips or any contacts or information about shipping a bike overseas, especially to Thailand, Put it in the comments below. I'd love to hear about it because I'm, I'm new to this as far as shipping stuff. Uh, I've ridden in Thailand on a motorcycle and dirt bikes, but never shipped anything there as far as, you know, any motorized vehicles. But like I said, you guys know any information about shipping um, or, or who I can contact for good rates or something that's uh, safe and, you know, I can trust? Just comment below and let me know. All right, well, that's just a little bit of a review. Um, don't want to bore you guys too much. But be sure to follow me on YouTube. My main focus is to get more followers on YouTube. Um, that's my overall goal, goal that I want. So I'm trying to point everything towards my YouTube channel. I just got to post more videos. All right. You guys have a wonderful day. And uh, get out there and ride.